Welcome back. Before the break, I asked you how much did the Hillary Clinton Benghazi investigation cost? Mm. 3.9 million, 7.8, 8.6, or 11.2 million dollars. The answer, 7.8 million. But the House could be spending a lot more to investigate Clinton on a separate issue as we now have a new twist to the ongoing investigation into Russia's alleged meddling into last year's election and purported ties to the Trump campaign. Some Republicans on the Hill say the probe should put a greater focus on Democrats and Hillary Clinton because according to them, quote, the American public has a right to know. Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee have written a letter to the Department of Justice asking for a second special counsel to, quote, investigate a plethora of matters connected to the 2016 election and its aftermath, including actions taken by previously public figures like Attorney General Loretta Lynch, FBI Director James Comey, and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Now here to shed some light on all of this is Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Welcome back. Oh, it's good to be with you. I'm only chatting because uh, this stuff just keeps coming. Yeah. Just now, and for a long time, you and I have talked about right. uh, the assumption that Hillary Clinton certainly did commit crimes. But at what cost do we pursue justice? It's a great question. I mean, do we really want to look like a banana republic? This is Senator Lindsey Graham's argument. I don't always agree with him, but I respect him being truthful to his own views. Yeah. Do we want to look like a banana republic where the people in power pursue their former opponents who are out of power to try and lock them up so they can never resist them again? Or do we not want the Clintons to be able to get away with things just because their last name is Clinton? So here's the issue. There's about three items on the plate. One is the president says he fired Jim Comey for dropping the ball on Hillary Clinton. Is there anything to prevent Jeff Sessions from taking all the evidence the FBI has on Mrs. Clinton and presenting it to a grand jury and see if they want to indict her? Answer, there is nothing to prevent that. The Comey decision... Even, even Sessions' recusal has nothing to do with whether or not he could go forward with a new Hillary Clinton investigation. Correct. Okay. And they don't have to investigate Kennedy. The investigation's done. All they have to do is make a presentation to a grand jury and ask them whether or not to indict. That's number one. Number two is there, there are some emails showing that the Clinton campaign met with agents from the government of Ukraine. Now, you can meet and talk, just like we said, Donald Jr. and Paul Manafort and yeah. Jared Kushner can talk to uh, agents from Russia. If it's a big deal Russia. for one side, it's a big deal for the other side. If it's not a big deal for Republicans, Agreed. then you can't say it's a big Agreed. deal for Democrats. So the issue is, did any agreement come from the meeting with the Ukraines because it is unlawful to accept anything of value from a foreign national or a foreign government when you're running a campaign in America. Yeah. Did the Democrats now, does that Does that mean like a box of Rolex watches or damning information on a political opponent? What is considered valuable? Well, if you valuable? had said a box of chocolates, I would have said that doesn't qualify. But a box of Rolex watches is obviously something of value. Yeah. But here we're talking about damning information about Donald Trump. Now, one theory is Trump won, Clinton lost. What do we care what techniques she used against him? The other is, look at what they're putting him through on the basis of allegations only, where there's no hardcore evidence that we've seen. Yeah. Why should she skate on this? So these are the arguments that uh, Republicans on the Senate Judiciary Committee are making, and these are items that uh, Jeff Sessions can do on his own without yeah. appointing another independent counsel. On the other hand, how about this scenario? Independent counsel Rudolph Giuliani to decide whether or not Mrs. Clinton should be indicted for any of these crimes. Do you think it would have the same outcome as when Comey investigated her? I don't. No, I don't, I don't think for our <laughs> former federal prosecutor Rudolph Giuliani, but perhaps for former New York State or New York Senate candidate, uh, uh, because they did run against each other. I don't know if that's a conflict yeah. of interest. But how do you break the stalemate? How do you decide that, you know, yes, th there is a great injustice here, but also there is so much rotten political discourse. Does this move the country forward all at right. all? I have not seen, and none of us has, whatever Jeff Sessions saw when he became attorney general that made him recuse himself on the Russian investigation. Yeah. It leads me to believe there, there might, might be something there. I have also not seen, very few of us have, the uh, FBI's file on Mrs. Clinton. I understand that if it were printed rather than digital, it would fill a tractor trailer. So it's enormous. Wow. And I'm talking about not just the emails, I'm talking about the Clinton Foundation as well. 
And then you have the Lindsey uh, Graham argument. Do we really want to go through this? Do we want to start? I mean, start the, the president told Leslie Stahl that he didn't want to, that he didn't want to put the Clintons through that because he said they were good people. So if they pursue Mrs. Clinton, is that to get Bob Mueller off the front pages? Yeah. Or is it because they really think she engaged in serious criminal activity and it would be a miscarriage of justice not to prosecute? Can Mueller investigate Clinton? No. He does not have that charge, but Jeff Sessions can say to the director of the FBI, Chris Ray, when he's sworn in in a couple yep. of weeks, here's your next uh, case. What do we know about Ray and his inclination to do that? He works for the uh, 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 Attorney General. I think he'd have no choice but to commence the investigation. Interesting. Well, we'll yeah. see what happens. What do you think? I think something will happen. I do. I think there's too much pressure yeah. and there's too much Republican control of Congress. For, listen. They, they can't seem to take care of Obamacare. This stuff they can take care of. They can. They have enough votes to do uh, this. They just have to be careful not to make her a victim again because right. she's really good at doing Well, you that. started this segment in a very poignant way. What did we get for that $7.8 million? Yeah. Nothing. Donuts. Right. Exactly right. So good to see you again, Oh, it's Judge. good to Thank see you. you. Pleasure. Pleasure.